Hello there, the subject is chromosomes. We uh, just saw a video, I guess, shortly ago uh, that discussed the two different forms that chromosomes take. I mean, uh, what's the deal with that? Well, it kind of depends on where you are in the cell cycle. Uh, it goes round and round, and sometimes uh, chromosomes appear in the unduplicated mode, sometimes in the duplicated mode. When they are, in fact, in the duplicated mode, you got lots more words to learn. That's a lot of fun. What are the two halves of a duplicated chromosome called? Sister chromatids. How do they compare to each other? They are absolutely identical. Every A, T, G, and C in this one is the same place, same A, T, G, and C. Everything exactly the same between the two. And they are joined at what's called a what? A centromere. Yes, indeed. Well, let's discuss now uh, a more fundamental question. And that is, <coughs> excuse me, why are we here today? Not why are we here in this class, but why are we on earth today? Well, I'm going to tell you a story. This may be new, totally new stuff for you. You may be totally surprised. And I'm going to apply it to human beings right now. I'm going to use uh, human being numbers. And, uh, and so, why are each one of us here today? I'm sitting here. Uh, looking at this uh, this little uh, camera here and uh, you're looking at me why are we here on earth today because a few years back there was a lonesome little egg cell sitting and minding its own business and so egg cell now human egg cells have how many of these chromosomes well they have half of each pair right half of each pair let's see 23 pairs is that right half of each pair would be 23 and the reason we're all here today is because that uh, little egg cell's peace and tranquility was disturbed by the arrival of a breathless sperm cell let's draw Mr. Sperm Cell and uh, would Mr. Sperm Cell really be this big in comparison to the egg cell? No, it would be more like about like that but I, I did it that way so we can put the number of chromosomes in a human sperm cell Human sperm cells are, cells are also carrying, what, half of each pair. I guess there's 23. And the reason Mr. Sperm Cell is so huffing and puffing is because he's got millions of his buddies right on his tail, literally. And so introductions are very brief. Uh, hello, how do you do? Shall we make a kid? Yes, let's. And so egg, spell, egg cells join sperm cell in an activity called what? Well, it's the F word. Fertilization. Oh, what are you thinking? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, fertilization. Oh, my goodness, yes. So, the joining of an egg cell to a sperm cell is called fertilization. And it occurs in all the kingdoms of life, all the eukaryotic kingdoms of life, I should say. Uh, fertilization does. And fertilization produces a single cell. And throughout nature, that cell is called a zygote. It is called a zygote. And human zygotes have how many chromosomes? Well, they have 23 plus 23, 46. That's the first cell that has all 23 pairs, all 46 chromosomes. And so uh, uh, we aren't uh, zygotes anymore. Uh, what happened? Well, that one cell became two. Those two became four. Four became eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, two fifty-six, and here we are, trillions of cells later, by a process that we'll study in this unit. It's a process called mitosis. Mitosis. Now, as mitosis did its thing, how many chromosomes did each of the daughter cells have? Well, amazingly enough, even though, uh, even though. Uh, you know, the parent cell continues to divide in two. Each of the daughter cells somehow has 46 chromosomes in people. 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, and so on. So all our body cells, all these cells, every cell in our body has how many chromosomes? All 46, 23 pairs in every cell, except for one very special category of cells within us. Uh, what are they? That'd be these, right? Those are the only cells in our bodies, top to bottom, inside and out, 
that don't have 46. They have 23. Well, let's see. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some questions. Um, number three says, what's the human uh, diploid blah blah? What's that all about? Well, uh, there are general numbers throughout nature for what could be called the half number and the full number of chromosomes. For us that is 23 and 46. For other organisms it may be 20 and 40, it may be 5 and 10, it may be 7 and 14, it may be 500 something and 1000 something, but for every sexually reproducing organism there's a half number and a full number of chromosomes. The half number is called the haploid, the haploid number of chromosomes symbolized by, the, by N, and sometimes 1N, I kind of like N. Uh, also, in every sexually reproducing organism, there is the double number, which is called the diploid, oops, uh, the diploid number of chromosomes, D-I-P-L-O-I-D, -I -I there we go, and that is symbolized as the 2N number of chromosomes, the haploid and diploid number of chromosomes. And so now we can answer the rest of the uh, questions in this little uh, section on our study guide. And so, uh, number three says, what are, is the human diploid number of chromosomes, the number of chromosomes in body cells? What's our diploid number? It's 46. What's our haploid number? It's 23. That's the human haploid number and the human diploid number. All right, what else do we have here? What is the process called in which a sperm cell and an egg cell join together? Mm, I bet that's that one right there, right? Fertilization. And what's the name of the first cell produced by this activity? Mm, zygote. And a zygote is a common term throughout nature. There are plant zygotes, fungal zygotes, protozygotes, animal kingdom zygotes. It's a common term for the cell formed how? By the union of an egg cell and a sperm cell. Yes, it is. And uh, so, um, how many chromosomes does this new entity, the zygote, have in people, in humans? 46. But here's a question that trips up students, the last one in this section. How many chromosomes does this new entity have in general? And I uh, usually pause there in class. I'm saying, uh, how many chromosomes does a zygote have in general? I'm looking for an answer that would apply to plants, animals, fungi, protists, all the species thereof, and what would that be? It wouldn't be 46, that's a people number. I don't know of anything else out there that has a diploid number of 46. So, what is the general number for all zygotes in nature? It would be what? It's up here someplace. 2N. You can take that one to the bank. All zygotes, whether it's a fungal zygote, a plant zygote, or whatever, all zygotes in nature are 2N. Because, why is that? They are formed by the union of an N, a haploid uh, egg cell, joining a haploid sperm cell, forming a diploid zygote. What was that again? Haploid egg cell, joining haploid sperm cell, forming a diploid zygote. And there you have it. Now you know why you're here on Earth today. Alright, that's it for this one.